World's 500 richest people gained $1.2 trillion in wealth in 2019. Analysis. Here's a summary of the article. The 500 richest people in the world, all of whom are billionaires, gained a combined $1.2 trillion in wealth in 2019, further exacerbating inequities that have not been seen since the late 1920s. That's according to a new Bloomberg analysis published Friday, which found that the planet's 500 richest people saw their collective net worth soar by 25% to $5.9 trillion over the last year. In the U.S., the richest 0.1% control a bigger share of the pie than at any time since 1929, Bloomberg noted. The 172 American billionaires on the Bloomberg ranking added $500 billion, with Facebook Inc.'s Mark Zuckerberg up $27.3 billion and Microsoft Corp. co-founder Bill Gates rising $22.7 billion. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, eight of the ten richest people in the world are from the U.S. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos lost nearly $9 billion in wealth in 2019, according to Bloomberg, but he will still likely end the year as the richest man in the world with a total net worth of $116 billion. Warren has proposed an annual 2% tax on assets over $50 million and a 3% tax on assets above $1 billion. Sanders, who has said he does not believe billionaires should exist, is calling for a wealth tax that would slash the fortunes of U.S. billionaires in half over 15 years, according to his campaign. This post received a score of 54,025, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Imagine losing 9 billion and not find that uncomfortable. Edit, to all of you saying he lost money because of a divorce. Imagine losing 9 billion in a divorce settlement and not finding that uncomfortable. Why he lost money does not change anything, he's still obscenely rich and I find that astonishing. Bro, I lose nine bucks and I have to skip a meal. Nah bro it's called intermittent fasting and it's all the rage. Why yes of course, gotta look thin, employers like that. Thin people equals malnourished equals willing to work for less and take more shit without quitting. Take fewer shits, too. Toilet paper magnate enters the chat. Lobbies for laxatives in water supply and take a shit at gunpoint bills. Also funds research into creating 0.25 ply toilet paper for offices. For those 500 people, that's an average of $2.4 billion per person. For each of those people, that's $6,575,342 per day, $273,972 per hour, $4,566 per minute, $76 per second. For additional context, if you started accumulating $500,000 per year starting when the Great Pyramid of Giza was completed back in 2560 BC, you still wouldn't have $2.4 billion. TLDR that's a straight-up cartoonish amount of money. 100k per day for the last 2019 years would get you to 75% of what Jeff Bezos is worth. I don't even know what I do with $100,000 let alone $100,000 a day. These people make money faster than it's humanly possible to spend it. As much guff as I give socialists for the whole eat the rich thing at some point society has to say, okay Rockefeller fork over your pocket change so the rest of us can eat. That's why a couple of them have dueling space programs. There is literally nothing to do with all that money, paying workers a living wage is not an option. Imagine having so much money you could start a space program for funsies. But not pay people a living wage. Well yeah, that's not as fun. That's cool, can I please get health insurance? You can, it'll cost you about one quarter of each paycheck and you'll still have to pay out of pocket costs until you reach your maximum out of pocket. You'll have no choice because your employer will choose your plan for you and any other option will cost you at least twice as much for worse coverage. Personally I'd want a single-payer system where we don't pay exorbitant amounts of money to corporations do that Reginald P. Millionaire can buy more yachts. Why doesn't the same company offer the same plan for the same cost in Obamacare? I'm always told the more people on a plan the cheaper the rates. Well these is the plan for the entire fucking state, I'd imagine it's tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people on this Obamacare plan, and it's fucking dogshit. Who is negotiating on our behalf? 
the government, why are these plans so fucking terrible when I'm bringing hundreds of thousands of clients to these insurance companies, they should be outstanding, but they are 100% bullshit my options were Kaiser. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.